Dear viewers, today let's focus on the following subject. When an ordinary good and empathic person is granted the powers of God for one minute, they choose to become an empathic pacifist deity, erasing all militaristic tendencies from human minds and transforming the world into a utopia of harmony, peace, and prosperity. Meet Adam, an ordinary person deeply troubled by the constant conflicts and wars plaguing the world. Adam always dreams of a peaceful planet where everyone lives in harmony, respect, and peace. Adam prays and begs God for good and unconditional love, not just for him, but for the whole planet. God is flying above in heaven amongst trillions of galaxies. Sometimes God decides to fly closer to our galaxy and he can hear better and louder Adam's prayers. During one of these close flybys, God made a monumental and earth-shattering decision on night. Adam falls into a heavy sleep and dreams of being granted the powers of God for one minute. Instead of engaging in useless cosmic games with billions of galaxies, Adam decides to use this divine power, here in this galaxy and only on this little planet, Earth. Adam is determined to erase all militaristic tendencies from every existing and future human brain. God was watching and decided it was a good thing. In a divine intervention, Adam becomes an empathic pacifist deity, with the ability to understand and alter the neural pathways that drive aggression and militarism in the human brain. God was pleased. Adam is erasing militarism in a series of visually stunning sequences. Adam gently rewires the minds of individuals across the globe, removing their tendencies towards violence and conflict. The world begins to change as people embrace peace and cooperation. God was happy. Adam did an awesome job. The new world is immediate impacted. Society starts to experience unprecedented levels of peace and understanding. Military forces are disbanded, and resources are redirected toward education, healthcare, infrastructure, and environmental sustainability. The world population experiences financial freedom by not being forced to support any more this nonproductive and violent industry. The war beast and Kalingmakan fueling agencies become obsolete no longer in use. The reformed agents become peace-seeking harmonious and productive members of the new and improved society. God's soul gets filled with divine compassion. The long-term effects the world enters a new era of prosperity with advancements in technology, social justice, and global cooperation. Adam wakes up from that powerful dream, being a little bit confused by it. The mundane morning routine kicks in, thinking that maybe was just an unusual dream, but is inspired to work toward promoting peace and understanding in the real world. High above in heaven, all this was seen, observed, and analyzed. God decides to beam on Adam and radiate the earth with constant unlimited and unconditional love from now on. Adam reflects on the dream and begins to advocate for non-violence and conflict resolution, believing that even small changes can lead to a more peaceful world. His efforts are now in motion, and huge steps are done in psychotic tensions and powers de-escalations. News is filled constantly with the good news of human cooperation, military assets repurposing all over the globe, no more foreign bases and entanglements, no more greedy profits on spoils of war, no more useless loss of life. People prosper financially by not supporting the war beast. People are amazed by the instant technological prosperity and advancements because the hidden technologies are no longer in use just for the war machine. Now they are all released to the people for the population to enjoy it. Adam is happy seeing these huge social changes. He is happy and pleased seeing finally everybody with a smile on their faces. In his quiet room, Adam is reflecting on that minute of a dream. By now he knows, was a prophetic dream and a special godly intervention. Adam thanks God every night for this wonderful opportunity, that minute of power share a success. God stays way closer to the earth from now on, planet earth that become way more exciting than the empty rocks of the wust, a huge but lifeless cosmic game. Please tell me what you think and how you feel about this issue, analyze it, brainstorm it, debate it, and if you like it, please share it. Thank you for watching. I truly and highly appreciate you, and God bless you.